show your support, like, share and subscribe. It's another fortnight and we are back. We're back again. Da, 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 da. Can't get rid of us. <laughs> no matter how hard you try. <laughs> Unless you I'm just sure you wouldn't do that. Don't click on this video. That's a good way of getting rid exactly. of us, I suppose. I was going to say, if, you, if you're literally listening to this right now, you're not trying to avoid us. You're trying to do the opposite. So welcome. <laughs> and we're glad that you're here. <laughs> and thank you. Exactly. It's been, a, it's been a lovely week, I'd say. Um... It's general. it's certainly been a week. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it I suppose a... for you, for person personally and and professionally, in inverted commas, for <laughs> yeah the the sake of of the channel, it's probably been a brilliant week. Yeah, it's been very f information heavy. Because mm. we got the Pokemon Sword and Shield second trailer. Yes. Which was twice as long as the initial first trailer. That I still haven't seen because I want oh, you to okay. educate me on things. So. Ah, fair enough. I can do that. We shall do yes. that today. Yes. <laughs> All I have seen so far is your kind of initial reactions trailer. And yeah. all I can say is it just seemed like about eight minutes of you being uber gleeful. <laughs> yeah, it, it was really good. And trying to work your mouth quicker than your or work your brain quicker than your mouth because you're like there's so much and this yes. and that and then and then there's this hang on I've missed this out uh, yeah, compile I've... thoughts in brain <laughs> first how yes, exactly and obviously had thoughts upon thoughts since making that initial thoughts so. mm. <laughs> yeah, that's good. good that's what yeah. that's what that kind of stuff should be rather than yeah we did an 8 minute video on something and nothing happened <laughs> exactly. Mm. Yeah, well, it's like um, I'm not going to sit here and say it was the best thing I've ever seen, but mm. equally, there was nothing in there that even made my brain remotely think, "Oh, really?" or "Ah, oh, that might not work." Oh, you know, okay. if, every That's everything good. in there was very welcome. Cool. So I'm not going to say it's going to be the game of the year and it's going to blow everything out of the park, but equally, I think it's going to be fantastic. Cool. I'm up as for a, that. As yeah. long as it's a solid sort of eight and a half out of ten. Yeah, definitely at least. Maybe that. a nine, something like that. As long as we get like that is a that's a nice sort of level of game to throw a decent amount of time into. Yes, regardless definitely. of what it is. If you like either and or, if that makes sense, either of the both of British countryside and British heritage and history hmm. in general and you're a fan of Pokemon, you will absolutely love this game. It looks like they are really... The scenery is really building on modern-day countryside of the UK. Oh, and cool. it seems like the theme of it is really centering on, like, the heritage and knights and, you know, medieval... Oh, really? Yeah, oh, there's okay. a lot of that so around there. So they're bringing in kind of the historical element of Britain... Yeah. ...and the folklore and stuff into a modern setting. Yeah. So cool. It seems interesting. But I'll go into more details, yeah. obviously. Sorry, that was me jumping while. the gun there. Oh, no, that's uh, no, this is just me as well getting excited and already talking. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I'm, yeah no, I follow someone on Twitter, a Pokétuber, who is very into WWE, and I believe over one of... Was it not last night or the night before? Something was happening. Somewhere, maybe? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> yes. A, a, a wonderful event for the ages to avoid like I avoided oh, um, it kind enough. of links into a, a topic that I uh, I discussed on uh, on here a few months ago actually because it's another Saudi Arabian show oh okay fair enough yeah <laughs> and from the clips and news articles and everything I've seen on the show it was horrible <laughs> oh good I mean I'll be honest yes. I ignored every single tweet but, oh, fair enough. I, it, mainly because I didn't understand what they were talking about. <laughs> well, the the main event of the show was a 52-year-old and a 54-year-old, I think they are, oh, um, right. wrestling for nearly 10 minutes, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're that age and you're not kind of at ring peak ring fitness... Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, it was painful. I've seen quite a lot of <laughs> uh, like gifs and clips of it of one person dropping the other on his head and the other person not being able to just stand up. It <laughs> it was it was painful. The the problem was it was like a dream match 20 years ago. Ah, oh, right. Okay. So they're just building but on the success of their history. <laughs> Basically, yeah, it's, it's this old guy who used to work for this company and this other old guy who used to work for the rival company. And although WWE ended up buying the other company and they became one company, these two have never faced each other. Why don't we do it now? Oh, no, right. <laughs> please, please don't. Yeah. Uh, and so that, that was one to avoid. That was definitely one to avoid. And the... Uh, the match before that was a kind of uh, a battle royal where you throw opponents over the top rope. But there were oh, 50, okay. 50 men in the ring at the beginning of it. 50? 50? Yes. <laughs> oh, 50. Wow. So that they doesn't went... sound like chaos at all. <laughs> no, that doesn't sound like you can't see what the hell's going on for the first a good, <laughs> what, half, if not more? Yeah, I was going to say, even though it's 25, there's still a lot. Yeah. Well, last year they did it kind of a 50-man rumble where you start off with two and then one person comes down every sort of minute, 30 seconds, something like that. So there's a bit of space. And then obviously you plan it so that you can throw people out before the next people come in. But this one was just all 50 starting at the beginning. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So that I'm glad I didn't yeah. watch it. It's like when you go into a lift and it's the tiniest lift you've ever seen and it says maximum 15 people. You think, really? Yeah. <laughs> Can't even get five in here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, that sounds like fun. Yeah, so that that was probably that show. And, yeah, by all accounts, it was dire. And I'm really glad I didn't watch it. <laughs> Instead, I watched uh, France versus South Korea in the opening game of the Women's World Cup. Ah, lovely. Yeah, Which I watched the first really, half of that. It was a really good game. <laughs> yeah. It did look, yeah, I didn't see the second half, but it was, yeah, it was right. Second half was very much France knew they'd won. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> but they still got another goal, so it was quite nice. Oh, I do. Yeah. England, Scotland, next. Yes. Can't wait. Well, next one to watch. <laughs> yes, can't wait. And yeah, and since we're recording this on day of release, it is actually today. So yeah. Yeah, we don't have to do that weird. It's the future, but it's the past thing. <laughs> exactly. I mean, See, that's, we're ma- actually we're in the present. We are. That I mean, that's mainly because I was just being really, really awkward on Thursday evening. But that's <laughs> <laughs> by the by. That's all right. It was sort of a blessing in disguise because it meant I could carry on with editing and preparing and trailery analysisy stuff. Oh, cool. Yeah. So it all well, worked I've, out. Yeah. I've only done the new Pokemon video so far. Next up, I'll probably be doing the new features. Mm-hmm. But I'll talk about all of them in brief details each in today's podcast. So, Oh, what what you're going to do in each video? Yeah. Cool. Okie dokie. I think I might only do three parts, though. Oh, as opposed to four? Yeah, even though it's twice as long a trailer as the one we got before and I had four parts. <laughs> I suppose it depends how much new information there is. There's no point in doing a video that's basically either repeating yourself or has got nothing of substance yeah. to it because then you're just you're just kind of doing something for the sake of doing something then aren't you which yeah exactly right yeah i'm just yeah i want to get it right as well <laughs> yeah yeah of course and if that Probably means giving that. yourself more time for the other three as opposed to stretching it for exactly yeah mm. Yeah, if anyone's watching this, the next two videos on Pokey Pitch will be part two and part three. And then we'll be back to normal. Cool. I've got... Um, I can do my... Well, I'm doing my Master Trainer series, not this Wednesday to Wednesday after. That will still happen, mm-hmm. as it will do every every uh, every fortnight. And I'm also trying to polish off the next furrow region walkthrough y show you thing. On Minecraft. Oh, what the Minecrafty thing? Yes, that yeah. is. I'm really looking forward to seeing how that develops. <laughs> that yeah, is like I'll... my 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 jam. That is. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'll talk about some of that later. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah, and then uh, part two of the run through of Let's Go, which came out last week, week before, uh, ten days uh, at, at some point, <laughs> some point since last podcast. Yeah, it feels like about. A... It was after the podcast, wasn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, probably about... Yeah, beginning of the previous week. 
Yeah, and um, if or when I get time, um, Get Fact will have a um, anime censored special showing Ooh, you all nice. the bits of anime that were censored. Cool. But yes, uh, yeah, that's after the next two trainer analysis videos. Someone is super planned. I need to get on that super plannedness because for anyone that's not aware, I am on holiday the last kind of week and a bit of this month leading into July. So I kind of want to have stuff banked so that I can just release yes. that. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how that's going to work with a podcast wise because <laughs> the day we go is the day that one of the podcasts gets released. So that one shouldn't be right. too much of an issue because we'll probably record it ahead of time. But yeah, the one after like that, that. <laughs> yeah, we'll just, ha- we'll just have to could wing be it. Interesting. Could be or interesting. Or just delay. Or just so. delay a week. It doesn't matter. No. We'll, yeah. <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, I suppose. Mm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, either way, I think I'm going to let you kick off proceedings today because I feel I may end up taking a long time. No, that's fine. I think so your I'll... your your topic of discussion is is kind of the the better of the things as well, anyway. <laughs> because funnily enough, we've already sort of touched on what I was going to talk about. Oh, right. With okay. regard to the Saudi Arabia show of Super Showdown, I'm just going to bring the mood back down again like I did last time. <laughs> no, that's fine. Is this the actual show that was on this week or is this just a general... Uh, the way it's kind of... Sp- the the stuff I've got is ba- uh, spun off from the show that was on on Friday, yeah. And oh, okay. Not, not the actual goings-on in the show because, as I said, I never watched it and I don't intend in watching it and I didn't watch <laughs> the other two that they did either. Not necessarily from a kind of it's wrong that they're out there, although it kind of is. I just it's a it's a gimmicked house show. It's just to appease the fans out there, but they're trying to force it into kind of weekly television and it's terrible and bad <laughs> and doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But that doesn't uh, sound too helpful. <laughs> yeah, and on top of all the bad stuff out there, um, I've I've kind of I think the last time we spoke about it I was a bit more neutral as to the goings on in Saudi Arabia but I've kind of looked yeah. into it a bit more and got a bit more of an understanding of things and it just seems really bad for a multi-million pound company from America that's supposed to be like the head of the free world <laughs> dealing with that yeah <laughs> effectively because they they signed a 10 year deal in 2018 yes for shows going forward so presumably they're going to do two or three shows a year until 2028 so we're only three <laughs> shows in out of a possible like 20 which is depressing that's a lot of shows it is yes and because Saudi Arabia doesn't like women it seems they uh they again not allowed to perform on the show however this time there was a lot of buzz and uh talk of the fact that there might actually be all right okay. two two wrestlers actually went out there and did quite a lot of pre-press stuff for all cameras and visiting wherever the men were going and stuff like that and the last show that they did they actually allowed a woman how good of them they allowed a woman to be on the commentary desk Oh, that's nice of that's them. That's nice of them, yeah. She she had to basically wear full garb, pretty much, I think. Right. But, yeah, she was allowed to talk at the show. <laughs> God's sake. I know. She was allowed an opinion. Exactly, yes. As long as it was the right opinion. Mm. Precisely. But at the last show as well, or one of the last shows, they, they actually had the audacity, WWE, to run uh, an uh, advert for one of their other shows in America, and it had women in it. <laughs> and no. there was a there was actually a massive backlash from that. <laughs> of like, ah, really? oh, you can't show women in wrestling stuff being... <laughs> because Basically, this, this kind of... Um, all comes down to the Saudi Arabian Sports Authority. Right. Now, that sounds a bit 1984, really. A sports authority. The SASA. Yeah, the SASA. The SASA. <laughs> it's, it's basically within their ruling that women aren't allowed to compete in sports of any kind in Saudi Arabia. That's the issue. Right. <laughs> like, so if of you're a woman... Kind. 
yeah, no sports for any women in Saudi Arabia. Because, right, you okay. know, they might rise up. <laughs> <laughs> and be as they equal might... as the men in every right. Exactly. Heaven forbid. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I mean, they, they've literally, you say that, they've only just in the last about six months or so been allowed to drive. Yeah, good point. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. that's that's where we are with that. But there was talk that, they, that they'd that they appealed to the Sasa to allow one women's match in this... Uh, on this night and right up until about the 11th hour it looked like that was going to go ahead and then it didn't <laughs> so that looks great okay. <laughs> so they flew two women out there to compete and then they didn't compete and they've had to come home oh well, that's helpful yeah so that was a waste of everyone's time <laughs> what was the point yeah coupled with uh, two Two superstars who were at the very first show this time last year who decided to not go to the last show and decided to not go to this show as well. John Cena and Daniel Bryan basically went, nah, not doing it. I don't want to be associated with that show because it's awful. Oh, right. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, well, I can see their point. (laughs) Yeah. Coupled with uh, another star called Sami Zayn who, although he's Canadian, is of Syrian uh, uh, Syrian descent. Oh, right, okay. And because he is of Syrian descent, he's not allowed in Saudi Arabia. (laughs) Wait, what? (laughs) Yeah, not because he's done anything, but purely because he is of Syrian descent, he's not allowed in Saudi Arabia. So he didn't go, or he wasn't allowed to go. Right. And therefore, one of his best friends, Kevin Owens, didn't go in support of him. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. This was looking like a domino good, effect. It? Yeah, it's looking good. And then finally, there is another guy called Alistair Black who is absolutely covered in tattoos. And right. it's not so much that he's got the tattoos that they've got the issue with, but some of them depict... I think one of them depicts um, a specific woman within the Jewish faith, I think. But right, okay. regardless of what the actual tattoo is... The Saudi Arabian government aren't happy with the fact that there is this female tattoo on his body to do with some other religion. Um, So he was banned as well. (laughs) Oh, no, not other religions. They don't exist. It's only uh, one. Not just other religions, but women in other religions as well. (laughs) Oh, dear. Yeah. So... (laughs) Superb. So the, the brilliant thing is we've got another 17 shows of this. (laughs) <laughs> 17 of it yeah until 2028 whose oh, idea was this <laughs> uh, probably Vince McMahon's because it, he got lots of money <laughs> I mean this oh. is this is irrelevant of the fact that the last time they went out there was literally weeks after um, Jamal Khashoggi got killed right okay in the in the embassy yeah and there was oh. backlash then to pull the show, but they didn't, and then they went out there again. Yeah, it's almost as if them. I don't know. I'm sure they're not getting bribed <laughs> to host well, the shows in that country. It, I mean, it, it's it's basically just a massive payout. It is it, this ten year deal is like multi billion, I think, across the ten years. Yeah. So that's literally all they care about is like we don't care about our image across the world. We don't care about the impact that this might have on anything. We're getting paid a buttload of money here. So yes. let's just take it and who cares? Yeah. That that's... doesn't uh it's how the world's getting now. Mm. It's all about the dollar. Yes. Ching ching. It's quite depressing. Yeah. Forget women's rights and yeah. uh, equality. Let's yeah. get the money. <laughs> yeah, basically. And and that's that's the whole the, that's the really hypocritical thing, the fact that they were pushing for this women's revolution. Like oh, right, yeah. at at WrestleMania um at the beginning of April, they had the first ever women's main event, finally, at the thirty yeah. fifth try. And then what is this? Literally two months later, three months, yeah, two months later, they're going, yeah, no women allowed at this show. It's just like how how does one company go? 
Yay, look, women in our main event of our biggest show. And then two months later, yeah, sorry, women, stay at home. <laughs> it, uh, oh, I can see why you say hypocritical. It, it's, it's, it's laughable. It's absolutely yeah. laughable. And yeah, okay, it's a payday. And yes, they're a company and they need to turn over a profit. But, but there are other surely, ways. <laughs> yeah, surely you must have at some point some scruples. Yeah. And go, actually, this is wrong. I'm assuming it isn't just you that's having this thought either. I'm sure there's lots of people all around the place. Mm. Well, there were. There's... Th- there's various different wrestling YouTubers that I sort of follow and subscribe to, and often they will do um, kind of a watch along for these pay per views, a live reactions yeah. video on their channel. Some have opted to not do anything, to boycott it. Some decided to watch a completely different show. Like, there was one that watched um, Stardom, which is a Japanese women's-only um, professional wrestling um, organisation. So, okay. kind of in protest and the whole anti-women thing, he was like, I tell you what, I'm going to watch a women-only show because it's a women-only promotion. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense to me. And other people watched it but had, like, live chat donation stuff up to communicate with their followers um to specifically give to charities oh that's good yeah one of which gave to amnesty international and one of which gave to actually sammy zayn has set up his sammy for syria um charity oh, okay. and they that's gave good. to that oh that's good but a lot of people just boycotted it completely or at least some good is coming from it. Yes, but it's not coming from the company that are deciding to no. go out there. It's coming from all the the supporters of that company that feel a bit dirty, shall we say. <laughs> yeah, that's a good word for it. And because they are such like big uh, YouTube brands, they that's obviously how uh, they make their money, they make their living, it's their job. So you kind of... It's like reviewing a a NAF game. You've still got to review it if you're a reviewer. That's what you get paid to do. So they've still got to kind of broadcast this or report on this. So how do you spin it into a positive manner? And that's kind of how they've had to do it. There is no positive manner, is there? (laughs) Well, I guess not, unless you are giving to charity. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, that's quite good. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Yeah, that's all right. That's that can stay. Yeah, but last um, last note on this. This yeah. is. I was gonna say this is quite funny. It's not. It's sad. The oh, head, okay. the head of the entertainment authority, the SASA. Oh no, it's the not Sasa. the SASA. This is the entertainment authority, which is a oh. different authority. It's not sports. We <laughs> authorize entertainment. So this obviously falls under a different bracket because it's to do with the Russian circus. Oh right! Wow. Um, yeah. There, there was a um, a performer wearing a skin tight outfit, and yeah. the because of that and the backlash that that caused, the head of the entertainment authority that authorised that got fired. Oh right, okay. Yeah. Because I right icing on the cake. Just because one person was right, okay. Yeah, presumably <laughs> because he he didn't check beforehand and and he authorised that they were allowed to be in a skin tight outfit oh. <laughs> it's the 21st century <laughs> I know it's ridiculous isn't it yet they're living in the 18th century it's it's absolutely ridiculous and it's farcical to hide behind tradition or religion or anything like that I think is quite disgusting because People of a Christian or Jew faith or any other, like, walk of life probably could, if they really wanted to, use that as an excuse. Yeah. But they don't. Yeah, but they don't. They choose to... Like, the church, for example, was very resistant at first regarding sort of gay marriage. And now they've developed they've evolved granted it's still a bit of a sticky wicket but it's got to a point where generally it's an accepted norm now yes civil partnerships well marriage as well soon in in a lot of countries 
in a lot of countries, it, yeah. it's, it's. I don't think it is in UK still, which is no Ireland. Wrong. I think it is, isn't it? Ireland is, and I think some yeah. states in America possibly, and oh, Canada, okay. and I want to say Australia. I, I'm. To be honest, I don't have those names to hand. So if anyone's from any of those countries and I'm talking complete BS, then apologies. Yes, but, yeah. but but yeah, it, it's certainly becoming more acceptable worldwide. It's not being oh well. Traditionally, it's been man, woman, and that's it, and everything else is wrong. So hmm. yeah, yeah. I, I assume probably the Scandinavian countries are fine. Yeah, they're usually quite laid back. They're fine with anything. Yeah, and Holland, they're yeah, usually quite yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. So who knows? <laughs> By the end of twenty twenty eight, maybe there will have been a women's match. By the end of this ten year deal. Just the one. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. On the off chance. Yeah. <laughs> what if they just did one and didn't tell anyone? That'd be great. Just Ooh. like, oh, we're not going to tell the entertainment authority. Hmm. <laughs> and then at some point, the- just be like, right, you two, go on. I'm I'm guessing I'm guessing that would probably be a breach of contract and they'd lose all their billions and billions of money. Yeah. And they'll be Which like, no, we can't do. lose billions of of money because we need that. I, we like the money. Yeah, we like the money more than human rights. Yeah. <laughs> it baffles me. It yeah. Anyway, I've brought oh. the mood down enough. <laughs> Do you fancy lifting us back up again? Yeah, okay, I'll give it a try. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's like we were saying at the beginning, obviously the Sword and Seal trailer yeah. was out. It was out, and it's it's around, and it's, yeah. we got more details on stuff we got teased on before. Because mm-hmm. obviously in the first trailer we just saw bits of the artwork and very limited gameplay, and the three starters. Yes. Which is great. But this time... Um, we got shown to the new sort of dynamic, the new mechanic of this game. Because Generation 6, we had Mega Evolution, mm. which is essentially Digimon. Oh, okay. Oh, what, yeah, like a, you... a miniature of evolution and then you go back to normal again? Yeah. For the battle, you temporarily evolve and then you go back. So, oh, like, okay. Charizard will evolve one more stage to Mega Charizard. Yeah. And then it will go back. Yeah. That was That's probably the most popular one they've had. And then Generation 7 had Z moves, which is just a really strong move you can use once per battle. Right. So, like, say you've got, oh, I don't know, you know, Ice Beam or whatever. If you've got an Iceium Z crystal attached to your Pokemon, it can use the Ice Z move once per battle. Right. It was all right. (laughs) But, yeah, this time they've introduced Dynamax Evolution, Mm -hmm. which I don't know your extent on of knowledge on that one as I scroll through my pictures trying to find something relevant. <laughs> I know nothing about... I All I have been educated on is by your uh, kind of first impressions video. Yeah, oh, fair enough. Uh, where is it? Oh, okay. I haven't broke my notes on this yet, so this is why I'm mentioning it now. Okie doke. Uh, right, that will do. That'll have to do. Yes, uh, sorry, yes, hi everyone. <laughs> um, <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah, Dynamax Evolution. Essentially, a Pokemon becomes absolutely massive for three turns, and they can use supercharged moves. Oh, okay. Of either side, either side can do it as well, so it's obviously tactical, because if you do yours right at the beginning and take out their first one or two Pokemon, and then you go back down, they can then probably bring out their strongest one and make that, you know, Dynamaxed. If that's the word for it. I'm trying to get used to the grammar. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, they could do that and then just completely wipe you out and then it'll be like, right, uh, I'm done. Oh, okay. So (laughs) So it's kind of a a limited version of Mega Evolution then. Yeah. Well, I'm going to send you a photo. I'm going to... So um, bear with us, everyone, if this goes wrong. We may end up cutting and coming back. (laughs) (laughs) I've just got to make sure I press the right button. Yeah. Right, it should be sent you You'll see it on your screen probably now. Um, yeah, I've just sent it over to you, Ed. Maybe, have I? Send message? That might help. Oh, yeah, if I click send, that helps, doesn't it? Please, yeah, that, that, that works. Yeah, you'll also see these Dynamax Pokemon in the wild. 
uh, at certain points, there's like these little glowy things where up to four people online can battle a Dynamax Pokemon and hopefully try and catch it. Which Why I assume I once you see anything, it's finished. Hopefully, well, there ah, it. yes, I'm gonna open it myself as well. Oh wow! Yeah, like I say, it goes huge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that'll be good. I don't know much about this yet. They've just shown us what it is, but not how it works. Jeez. Yes. That is insane. Very big. Yeah, the four people online or locally or whatever can go and battle one in the wild at the glowing points that you'll see on the map. Oh, and, okay. Um, yeah. Only one of you can catch it, though, so I don't know how that works. Uh, mm. Most of this, but well, I'm just explaining again off the cuff, so this is great. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, they use this in. It looks like they use this in every gym battle as well. Oh, Dynamaxing. really? Oh, okay. Or at least they showed it in the one they showed us on the trailer, and that Pokemon was only like level 17, so it must be one of the first couple of yeah. gym battles. Oh, okay. So it's not a case of like you have to level your Pokemon up to say like level 50 before this is unlocked or anything like that. Yeah, pretty much. I wonder if that's item based then, like there's a special item that you can use. Yeah. Well, if I open up that picture actually, if you see on the character's right wrist there, she's got a bracelet or band or something on. Oh yes. And I believe you get that, and that means oh. you are able to use it, but I don't know then, like you say, if you need an additional item to do this. Yeah, it looks like the other players have got something on their right wrist as well actually. Yeah. Because with Mega Evolution, you would have like a Mega Ring or a Mega Bracelet or Mega Necklace, whatever, it doesn't matter. You'd have a Mega piece of jewellery <laughs> and then separate Mega Stones for each Pokemon. And then yeah. for Z moves, you would have, um, you'd have your own Z Ring, which is essentially what they're wearing there, near enough. Yeah. And then each individual move type would have their own crystal and you'd give that as a Pokemon as an item. So maybe they'll be oh, doing the okay. same here. Yeah. Hmm. You have to give a certain item to a certain Pokemon. I don't, I don't know. Like I say, we'll see. They haven't explained too much into detail. Just explain to us what it is rather than mm. how it works. Mm, so that's good, though. Yeah, that'd be fun. Um, yeah. I'll go into Dynamax in another video in the future. But for now, we'll talk about something else which I'm more familiar with. <laughs> <laughs> so, where shall I begin? I'm just going to talk about a couple of the new Pokemon. Mm -hmm. So, for example, Rattata wasn't very popular, was it? Eh. Yeah, You know, it was all right, but no one yeah. really used a Rattata. I s put it this way. I use it more on Let's Go than I did when I played Red and Blue. Ah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's been a theme following every single time, uh, that every generation, basically, that style of Pokemon, that early encounter normal type is also fairly meh. <laughs> oh, okay. So, but what they've done this time, they've released a Pokemon that I fully believe is the early encounter normal type, mainly because in every single clip you see it around Route 1. Right. So I fully believe that we're going to be getting this as a um, early encounter normal type. So if we put the photo in now, of which you're going to see in about three seconds... <laughs> <laughs> this is um, this is Wooloo. There it is. Oh, a sheep. It's a sheep, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is pretty much just a sheep as well, but a little bit of hairstyle and some different eyes. Yeah. However, though, this, for some reason, has been the most popular Pokemon to come out of the trailer. Really? Yeah. My Twitter feed has been absolutely filled with artwork of Wooloo. All over the place. Okay. Yeah. It's really popular. I mean, I like it. I'm not going to say, I, you know, I love it, but it's, it's good. I like it. I don't, well, it, it, it's okay. It's it, it's a sheep in the same way that Rattata is just a rat. Yes. <laughs> Very much so. I don't I know mean, what it's going to evolve into. Probably a bigger sheep, but still. Or pot... Maybe kind of more ram-like with bigger horns, I guess. Yeah. That would make it a bit more kind of dangerous. I'd say so. I think part of its charm is that it's so sort of cute and cuddly. And apparently 
according to the website, the Pokemon website, it dislikes conflict. What good is that if you're having a battle? <laughs> exactly. It has the ability run away. Useful. Which means, yeah, which means you can run away from any wild battle. Whereas usually sometimes if you're in a wild battle, uh, the, your frequency of being able to run away base is, based, is based on your own speed. Yeah. So if you've got a lower speed set than your position, it might say, you couldn't escape, and then they'll attack you, and you're like, no, go away. Yeah. And then for some reason, you won't be able to escape for four turns, they'll knock you out, and then you'll say, do you want to choose another Pokemon or run? And you say run, and they go, you got away safely. It's like, oh, for yeah, God's but sake. you've sacrificed a Pokemon for <laughs> yes, getting away. But, yeah, Yeah, but this cute and adorable thing that doesn't like conflict um, has the ability to run away, so... Interesting. I don't get the whole cute thing. I'd like. I want things that can fight. Yes. I want a, like a Charizard, like a massive lizard <laughs> thing that yes. breathes fire. That's dangerous. That's what you want. That would be absolutely fantastic. Yeah. The champion a... of this region actually does have a Charizard. Oh. Which I think. It's, what's happening with that one? I don't know. Because <laughs> mm. it seems strange for a champion of a region to have a. Pokemon of another region. I know it's Charizard, and Charizard's exceptionally popular. That's fine. Yeah. But there's got to be something. There's got to be something yeah. up. Something's got to be happening, if that makes sense. Unless it's been swapped out. Yeah. Like, the image of, of Charizard has been swapped in for what it actually is. Yes. Just to kind of hide the release of this uber kind of new dragon thing that yeah. does pain <laughs> yeah we shall see I think if you're going to base a game off the UK you've got to have a fantastic dragon Pokemon in there somewhere <laughs> anyway, depends yes, how so. close to Wales they go yeah I know uh, I really like it speaking of that sort of thing though, I do have a theory on that but I must explain something first okay of which is in the two pictures I've shown you here aha indeed the one with the sword in its mouth is Zashian. Which is on screen now. Now. this this uh, I was going to say this guy, but it'll be genderless, so this Pokemon. <laughs> um, that's Zashian. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, not, I'm not too convinced with the sword in the mouth, but it's fine, we'll get on with it. <laughs> mm -hmm. If a, you know, It's a wolf. This is one of the box art legendaries. Okay. This is the legendary for Pokemon Sword. Yeah, makes and sense. Then, it's got yeah. a sword. And then the next Pokemon here is Zamazenta. And that yeah. is the Shield legendary, basically. Yes. According to the website, um, Zashian's, Zashian and its sword can de um, destroy any defence. I can't remember the exact wording, but that's basically it. They can destroy any defence. They can beat any defence. Yeah. And um, Zamazenta's shield can defend any attack. Oh, okay, so they're like polar opposites of each yeah. other. Yeah, so it's like the unstoppable object and the immovable force. Or... So what happens if they face each other? Would the sword beat the shield and exactly. beat its any defence, or would the shield beat the sword and exactly. defend against anything? Exactly. <laughs> nice. Yes. They haven't released what types these are, though, which is kind of strange. Hmm. They've just said, I I'm assuming steel. Of some kind. <laughs> they've got to be sure. Yeah, they. I guess they've got to be partly steel, even if they're something and steel. Indeed. But, um, yeah, how familiar are you with my thoughts on these already? Or is it? are you so brand new that you haven't heard any? Um, I don't think I've heard any. Ah, perfect. <laughs> because you're probably one of the only people that will understand this. <laughs> do, you, do you reckon there's a reason why Zashian is so blue and Zamazenta is so red? Well, I presume that it's because the artwork one of the one is red and one is blue, isn't it? Yeah, that too. I'll tell you what. I'll send a box art and we can put that on screen now. But for you, it's gonna take a few seconds. Um, a bit, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'll I'll try. I, it, this blew my mind when the penny dropped. Put it that way. Bearing in mind the okay. job, yeah. Bearing in mind the job we have, um, my thought is, and it's widely thought to be this, that Zashian is based off of a cyan, and Zamazenta is based off of magenta. 
Uh, and when you, <laughs> yeah, and when you see the box art, you'll this will be like, oh yes, because oh the, because it's not red, it's a pink. Yeah, yeah, that is magenta, isn't it? Yeah, the actual sword and the actual shield of the logos as well. They are oh, cyan and magenta, they are and even the background colour. Yeah. Although they kind of use more darker blue and a oh, redder yeah. colour within the Pokemon. Yeah, yes. everything is very cyan. And, where's yellow? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and black. Where's well, yellow and black? Exactly. Well, for anyone that's is... not in the printing industry. Yeah, I can't show it on screen because it's a little bit of a clip. But if you watch my Pokemon reveal, uh, Pokemon thoughts video that I released on Saturday, head over there after this. Um, there's a little bit in the trailer where they sort of face up to each other, essentially not fight. They just stare at each other, and then like this leaves swoosh up into the air. Camera looks up and they both look up into the air, and then all of a sudden they sort of like team up and get ready to fight, and then that's the that's where that ends. Okay. So there's obviously another Pokemon. Yeah. This is the way um, some generations have been going from Generation Three. You won't know any of these, but no. um, <laughs> for people that do, we had um, Groudon and Kyogre for the box arts, the King of the Land and the King of the Sea, basically, and then. Um, we had the third game, Pokemon Emerald, which is like the equivalent of Pokemon Yellow. Oh, uh, okay. And that was the king of the sky, Rayquaza. And then it was, you know, we had Dialga and Palkia in Gen 4, Diamond and Pearl. Then we had Platinum, which was Giratina, and that was like the ruler of those two. And so on and so forth. I won't so, go into it. presumably, after these games are released, say six months to a year after, there'll be a third version... I believe so, yeah. ...called... something. <laughs> yes. Crossbow. Yeah. <laughs> Spear, maybe? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, no, there'll be something. So I think they're looking up, and I think it's going to be a dragon type as well, because why would they be looking up, for a start? So yeah. I think there's going to be a yellow-based dragon, and we're going to have that as a third game. Because also you had red and blue, and then yellow came out. This is cyan oh, and magenta. Of course, this is red and blue, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. This is, you can see why when I got the penny drops, my mind just went, "Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> my work and Pokemon are colliding." <laughs> this is just crazy. But yeah, yeah um, so I think there's going to be a third legendary, of it, and it's going to be based around the colour yellow. And it's, it's going to have its own game. There's going to be a spin-off game for it. It's you just going like to be that. Zapdos. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, sorted. Right, thanks, everyone. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <Dumb>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, I've got... Uh, yeah. I've probably been... I don't know how long I've been speaking for. I'll try and stop now. But, uh, yeah, it's... That's what I think. And, yeah, it just sort of... Not that I thought it was amazing and awesome and cool, but it really did sort of amazed me when I realised they were based off of something I work with on a daily basis. And it's interesting that they've gone, it's seemingly, back to the blue, red, yellow thing. Yeah, definitely. Considering the last game that they did, Let's Go, was a essentially a re-release, updated version of red and blue. Exactly. So there's... That's what I mean. There's a lot around it, and I think it's just... I love how they've gone with all of this. It's really mm. good. Some people are annoyed that these two Pokemon look alike. However, I think in the last few generations, I've not actually been overly impressed with the legendaries we've had. They've just sort of made two legendaries. and they've, Like with Sun and Moon, there was one that was based off the Sun, one based off the Moon. But in terms of themselves together, yeah. they weren't... They had literally zero similarities. Like one was a flying... Not tight, but you know, it was like a floating ghost thing with massive wings and the other one was a massive steel lion and you're like ah yeah <laughs> mm. i mean we, looking yeah. looking at the lo sorry to interrupt looking at That's the logos fine. that we've known about for ages yes they've got wolf heads on them exactly so they have surely like they were going to have to be linked in some way because the only thing that's the same about those logos is the fact that you've got the wolf heads granted they're pointing in opposite directions yeah but that just shows that they're the same and different. Indeed. I thought they were going to be wolves, these legendaries. But mm. a lot of people just thought, oh no, that's just because, you know, sword handles had funny designs in the medieval times. And like, no, I just think it's going to be a wolf. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, they kind of did, but you never really got that on a shield. 
No, not at like all. Like they've they've really specifically added that wolf head onto the top of the shield motif. Yes. <laughs> it's interesting to say the least. Hmm. Ooh. But no, I like them, and yeah, I think I need to go and watch is, the trailer now. <laughs> yeah, it's it's fifteen minutes long, but there are even yeah. skip bits when they're talking about things in more detail. Or you can watch it if you're interested. We'll see. Mm. But yeah, no, um, yeah, I'll I'll wrap it up now because I could okay, genuinely okay. have an entire hour long podcast talking about just this. <laughs> One last question before you do wrap it up. Indeed. Yeah. Given that this has only just been released to us yeah. like this week, and as of Tuesday coming is going to be E three. Ah, yes. Are they going to be there, or are they just going to show this same trailer again, or...? Well, Nintendo are there. Right. Um, I reckon they're going to focus more on games like Animal Crossing and Link's Awakening. Oh, okay. But they may well give uh, an extra bit of information into this, or... I think there's going to be a playable demo at E3 for people. Yeah. Probably very limited in... I suppose they might showcase that. Yeah. For 20 minutes or so. It just seems really weird timing that they release it a week before E3. Yeah. When they could I... have made a huge statement there. Exactly. I just think they're saving. They must have done that to make a huge statement for another game. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, the only news we've had on Animal Crossing is the initial trailer of some months ago now saying that it was happening. Yeah, same with Link's Awakening, I suppose. We got yeah. that. You you essentially got the remake of the opening sequence. Yeah. With a tiny bit of gameplay, but not yeah. really much. Exactly, we've seen nothing of that since. So I reckon they'll be doing that at E3. Uh, yeah, makes but the, sense. Yeah. But there will be a Sword and Shield playable demo there. There was right. a Let's Go playable demo, but we never got that until after the game was released. So I'm hoping they actually do release a demo for this game at some point. Yeah, I think they need to. Even if it is literally a couple of weeks beforehand. And granted, yeah. by then, most people have probably done pre-orders and stuff anyway. Yes. But it would be nice. Because, yeah, there, there's a, there's actually a release date as well on this, I've just seen. Yeah, 15th of November. Already yes. booked it off work. <laughs> <laughs> nice. We'll be going down to the game store in Braintree and picking up my pre-order. Because nice. my post doesn't get here till about 2 in the afternoon. Oh, yeah, you can't wait that long. That's ridiculous. No. You never know. They might have a midnight opening for it. Yeah, I hope so. Mm. Well, did they peep me off for that last time? <laughs> they are I quite did, rubbish, I... in fairness, with that. Yeah, <laughs> I, I contacted the store and the shop, uh, the store and the website chat, like, within a week before Sun and Moon was releasing, is there a midnight release? Everyone said no, and then I saw pictures of people outside Braintree Game at, like, 12 past midnight. Just mm. saying, you know, like, oh, we've got the game. I'm like, where are you, Braintree? I was like, but they said it wasn't happening, bastard. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll make sure of that. But anyway, yes. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I'll probably... Oh, I could talk about this all day. <laughs> but, I, but I'd best go and make it into notes and make a video on it. So we'll see that exactly. throughout the week. Exactly, yes. Indeed. But yeah, it's been, uh, it's been fun again. Hmm. Thanks for bringing the mood back up after I completely <laughs> destroyed it earlier as well. No, that's fine. We get serious every now and again. We have we mature try thoughts. To. <laughs> yeah, I won't. I, to everyone, I won't be doing that. Uh, I'll try not to now do any kind of anything about any Saudi show ever again. <laughs> Unless they actually have women. Fighting. Yeah. Unless it, oh yeah, put it that way. Unless it's a positive thing. Yeah. Indeed. Unless they finally actually allow them. In. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Good point. All right then. Well, until next time then. Yes. Until you're ready for your holiday. Until well, yeah. The next time we speak and everyone hears us, I will probably be either on a plane or just landing on a lovely warm Greek island. Lovely. Yeah. I'll be uh, probably just eating some crisps. <laughs> <laughs> Wondering what I'm doing now. <laughs> But yeah, well, enjoy it. I will certainly I'm sure try. I'll speak to you before then. But yeah. Oh yes, definitely, definitely. Yes. <laughs> Alright then, well I shall see you later then. Goodbye everyone, thanks for listening. Bye bye. See you all later. See ya.